Hey guys, Augie Saint here and welcome to the channel. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the new event we did get on Lost Ark with the June update, the Heartbeat Island. And I know it sucks, the event is pretty bad, but the materials and everything we do get from the exchange from the vendor is actually pretty good. I do have a method that I'm going to share with you guys that will make it really easy to actually obtain this and you don't even have to do the quests on the island or you don't have to do the co-op quest at all, which both of them are pretty bad and pretty slow. But anyway... Let's talk about the rewards before we get into the little trick that I got for you guys. So in the sales shop of here, pretty much the same stuff as we've seen in most of the events. We do have the little hat item. So it's like a headpiece pretty much with ears, different color ones, whatever you want. And there seems to be a roster limit of two of them. And then there's uh, food like normal. We got a legendary report box times one. So we can get uh, multiples of that each week. It will reset because it's on the weekly roster limit. We got the Una's tasks, completions, and increase. We got card XP, legendary two rare card pack. That's pretty nice. We got a bunch of silver there. I think that's 500,000 silver, yeah. We got Power of the Sage, and we do have a bunch of the honing upgrade books. And we do actually have legendary ones included this time. So this, I believe, will help you from 1370 to 1415. So the plus 15 honing, so that's really nice over there. Make sure you pick those up. And then we do also have two legendary card packs. That's two legend guaranteed legendary card packs. It is only a roster limit, so you can't get the reset every week. It'll just be two cards, but hey, two cards is better than no cards. And then moving on, we do have holding materials, just the normal stuff. P1, 2, and 3. We got shards, we got leap stones. Uh, we do have some juice materials, the breaths, stars, moons, solar graces, all that good stuff. And then we got destruction stone, guardian stones just your basic holding materials over there depending on what item level you are for what tier you can actually come here and buy this to help you juice up a little bit so really nice little shop really nice little event but the catch is the quest you have to do on this island is terrible you have to stand around pretty much for like three minutes in a little zone and do nothing you've got to take in the sunlight so to say so what you could do is start the quest stand in the sunlight and go make yourself a coffee go make yourself a sandwich go make yourself go watch some videos or something put up some Netflix or anything or you could just totally ignore the quest on this island and look at this little document I have made for you guys let's bring that on over now you do get these coins from chaos dungeons and guardian raids you get 30 coins per clear per your daily entry like your aura of resonance clear and then your soul harvest for the guardian raids so you get 60 per your two chaos and then 60 for your two guardians per day if you have rested it is doubled so keep that in mind so that equals then to 120 coins per day per character if you just do your two guardians and your two chaoses every day so i worked this out if you have six characters all doing because it doesn't matter what level they are as long as you're doing a chaos or a guardian raid really doesn't matter which level you are you'll still get the same amount so you get 720 per day with six characters that means 5040 per week with six characters and then i worked out what it costs to actually buy everything in the shop as is a plus or minus, I think it uh, might be a little bit more because these numbers might not be 100%, but uh, they're pretty close. You need 2,220 to buy out the special tab. That is excluding the 2x legendary card pack, which will be 1,000 coins, but that is only a once-off. So it's not like you have to do that each week. So you might have to do the quest a little bit just to get that. Or if you have more alts, or if you have rested, that all adds up really fast. And then we do have over there, it costs 3,000 to buy out the honing materials tab. That includes tier one, two, three, and the books, all of it. And then also I worked out of there. So that's a total of 5,220 plus or minus needed to buy out the whole shop every week. And if you have six characters running your chaos and guardians every day, you will have 5,040 per week. So then you can come here and do like one or two quests, sit there and you get, you get 100 coins per quest. And all you have to do is sit there and wait. So it's just really boring, but it's up to you and you will need to do one or two just to get that little bit extra to buy out the whole shop if you plan on buying it each week. Let me just show you guys in game of here. If we come to the Chaos Dungeons, you can see over there you got the Festival coin. And as well with the Guardian Raid, we have the Festival coin. So that's pretty much the easy way to go about doing it. To skip the quest or skip doing the quest multiple times on multiple characters each day because it's really bad and really boring. Hope you guys find this useful. If you do, please drop a like and a sub. It helps me out so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you stay out. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the 